Eric Moa with Mother.com. Let's take a look at the hourly chart for Bitcoin. Now, if you go back about a week ago to November 24th of 2017, we can see that there was evidence here that was emerging that Bitcoin, after trying to break out about just under the 80, let's call it about 83. So let's say about the 83.50 level, there was a breakout attempt that failed. And after that failure, we started to suspect that Bitcoin was due for a pullback. Now also we saw evidence of this because this attempted breakout, so the attempted breakout that failed, took place with declining strength. So that negative divergence was definitely a warning sign that Bitcoin looked to be pulling back. Also there's another line coming from the prior break. So there's a line here somewhere there so this line gave us a short term high on the hourly again this is Bitcoin hourly so there was resistance there as you can see resistance on the line here gave us the actual high there and then resistance here gave us that high so it looked like we were set for a pullback but notice what happened afterwards if we start moving forward, just watch how the chart behaves. So RSI price pulling down, 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 sideways, sideways, down, right? We get that movement lower, lower, starts holding. Remember, what we see here is it held the hourly 50 level. All right, let's go back again. Right there, you can see, look like it was dropping below 50. But take a look at what happened. In the next hour or so after that you can see now it's holding back above 50 so that's RSI 50 support for you now remember if we draw our line which gave us the resistance which is also the negative divergence line so if we draw it this way notice what's gonna happen afterwards right there in fact, let's draw the line again. So if you had drawn the line here, connecting the tops right there, notice what happens after it breaks out above that line on the hourly. Bang! Right? And also, notice it moves above 69.1. And now we have a clear breakout of our previous negative divergence line. That breakout right there looks to have legs. So this breakout right there. All right, let's see what happened after that breakout on the hourly. Take note. Oh, by the way, let me draw the previous. So there's a line we had drawn right there. That was resistance. And of course, there's the other line, which is the top side or the negative divergence line. We can see the stock cleared both of those levels. In other words, it broke out no question about that it cleared both levels and take a look at what happened so now we also break out in price on the hourly above the 83.50 level that's also another indication of intent to go higher now let's go forward and see what happened and of course we can see bang since the breakout There we go. So we've gone as high as close to, if not above 11,300 and change. So there you have it. So from the prior breakout level, so we got our previous resistance line here. On the top side, uniformity line, and then we have this top side resistance line, which acted as our negative divergence line. Once we broke out above those two, which is here you can see this movement here from 8350 give or take to the highs here close to 11,500 Eric Mwadith mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings hey, oh you know what so as to make this video valuable to all of us who are watching this so if you're looking for a reason to get back in Bitcoin short term on the hourly one thing we can do is just figure out where the movement began 
or we can say this is the lows here where we get these lows and we get a huge recovery leg so let's use that information and what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line and very simply here if Bitcoin can move back above this line if it can recover back above this line with uniform action then that's gonna be a sign that short term it wants to bounce it would be similar to this period here where it came back to test the line and held with uniform action which is the lows right there before it goes on another fantastic run so if you're looking to trade this short term that's one thing I would look forward to now remember this is the hourly you'd also have to consider the daily weekly and monthly charts before you can come to a strong conclusion as to whether it is gonna bounce but short term if you're trading it hour to hour day to day this is where you'd want to find support with uniform action Eric Mwadet, mother .com. as always good luck peace and blessings e I see S. Mwah. Woo.